welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over an exercise where we're going to find the slope of a tangent line for a function uh, expressed implicitly, and the function has the inverse sine and inverse cosine function involved in it. So we are going to apply the tools of implicit differentiation to come up with the derivative of y. Uh, once we're done with that, we're gonna write down the uh, slope point form of the tangent line. Uh, for the time being, we need two formulas. So for the, for the implicit differentiation of this function, uh, where we're gonna take the derivative of the left-hand side and the derivative of the right-hand side, we're gonna need the derivative of arc sine and arc, arc, and arc cosine, okay? And the formula for the derivative of arc sine is, is u prime over uh, radical one minus u squared. But here we take the derivative with respect to x. So u is gonna be just x and x prime is gonna be one. This, this formula will be one over radical one minus x squared. And for the derivative of um, this piece here, we're gonna remember that y is a function of x. This was the this was the item that we should never ever forget in, in implicit differentiation. So, uh, so y is gonna play the role of u here. So the derivative of r cosine y is gonna be minus y prime divided by radical one minus y squared. And remember, we were looking for y prime evaluated at this x and y. So that's why we have to keep that forward. As a first step of implicit differentiation, we take the derivative of the left hand side and the derivative of right hand side of the equation. And the derivative of the left hand side is the sum of the derivatives of each piece here. And the derivative of the right hand side is the derivative of a constant because pi is a constant, which is 314 and, and with, with all the decimal places. And divided by two, that's another constant. So, so this is gonna be equal to zero. And for, for these two pieces, I will use uh, the formula. The derivative of this one, uh, from the formula chart, we have one over radical one minus x squared, and the derivative of this is minus, uh, minus y prime divided by one minus y squared. Again, we keep in mind that y is a function of x in implicit differentiation. All right, the next task in implicit differentiation is to solve this equation for y prime. To achieve that, we add this term uh, to the both sides of the equation. And, and now we have this equality here. So why don't we multiply both sides of the equation by one minus y squared. Then y prime is equal to radical uh, one minus y squared divided by uh, radical one minus x squared. All right, so we're gonna evaluate uh, y prime at the given point for x equals root two over two, y equals root two over two. All right, the top becomes uh, a radical one minus one half, bottom becomes radical one minus one half, but these are the same quantities. So then the result is gonna be one. So we have the slope to be equal to one and we have the point that the, the line passes through. So we can write the equation of the tangent line to be y minus radical two over two, equals one times x minus radical two over two. All right, if you look at the graphical outlook of uh, this implicit expression here, and if you wanna graph that, and as you see, this is the blue line. Blue line is the graph of arc sine x plus arc cosine y equals pi over two, and turns out to be a line. And, and in fact, we're trying to find a, uh, we're trying to find the equation of the tangent line to the blue line at this point, and that should be the exact same line, but written written explicitly. So it's it's a very interesting observation here that the implicit form uh, of y equals x is exactly equal to this. So if you really want to convert this implicit form to the explicit form we're gonna get the equation of the line to be y equals x. This is exactly what we derived uh, in the previous slide once we do the cancellation uh, in the equation of the line. All right, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video, bye.